In the class, this is a short video just covering the syllabus for week four, including the interpretive essay for this week. There are three main objectives for this week. First, uh, to determine the growth of the church as depicted in the book of Acts. You're going to do this through reading as well as through watching some videos. Uh, the second objective is to analyze a Pauline letter. This is the interpretive essay for the week. And then finally, determine the themes of the epistles. This will be done through the readings as well as through the quiz. The readings are similar to previous weeks. First, uh, there's a couple of chapters out of an introduction to the literature of the Bible. And then there are several readings for introductions to a number of books from the New Testament, focusing, of course, on the epistles, which are letters, um, as well as the book of Acts, which is basically a historical book uh, about the early church. And then there are some readings from specific books out of the Bible, so five chapters from Romans and about seven from the book of Hebrews. There are several, several videos for this week that are very useful. These two are documentaries uh, done by PBS. Um, the, the first one's particularly helpful as it uh, teaches us a lot about Peter and Paul and their work in the early church and just some foundational stuff. The second one gets into more detail and some later history of uh, these two people and their work with the church. And then uh, a couple of videos from the Bible Project that you've been seeing uh, from YouTube. So these are about uh, the book of Romans. As far as assignments go, two discussion questions. The first one talks about faith or works, which compares James and Romans. Uh, the views of James and the view of Paul as found in Romans are considered by some to be contradictory, others to be complementary. Um, so we're looking for you to review these chapters of these two books and then ask the following questions. According to James, how is a person saved? And uh, saved means uh, put into right standing with God. In this context, that's what we're looking for. According to Paul, how is a person saved? What are the similarities and differences between these two accounts? And how might one explain the differences? So start your conversation with those questions and see where it goes. Discussion question number two focuses on the book of Revel, or not the book of Revelation, that's next week. It focuses on uh, some hot topic issues and trying to decide if the Bible passages talking about these issue, issues are culturally based or if they're universal. In order to get this conversation going, we're going to have you take a look at a YouTube clip um, on the West Wing. This link here is no good, but look in Moodle. The link in Moodle uh, should be updated. So click on that and just watch a few minutes of West Wing where the president, uh, the fictitious president in this TV show, quotes several uh, passages in response to somebody who is talking about homosexuality and the Bible's views on it. And then what we're going to have you do is look at all four of these topics through the lens of different passages from the Old Testament and the New Testament. So you're going to read all these different passages, and then you're going to ask yourself the following question. What, difference exi what differences exist, if any, between the Old Testament and New Testament passages for each subject listed above? How does our culture deal with these issues today? So here you're comparing the Old Testament passages with the New Testament passages, seeing if there is any difference or development from one to the other. And then you're going to talk about how our culture deals with these four issues today. You can reflect on how you deal with these issues, but also broaden your conversation to not just include your views, but the broader culture and where culture is going today. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, fourth interpretive essay. This is a final interpretive essay. In week five, there's a different type of essay. Uh, so this is the, the final interpretive essay for this course. First, you're gonna choose one of these five books. They're all uh, Pauline letters. So Paul maybe wrote 13 or 14 Pauline letters. Many scholars actually believe he only wrote six or seven or eight maybe. Um, but all of these are thought to be, have, are thought to have been written by Paul. So select one of them and read it all the way through and then write the following essay. 
So two to three pages where you need to do these five things. First, identify the main parts of the letter. In the Carver textbook, Carver talks about how Pauline letters have five main parts. So what I want you to do in your opening paragraph after your introduction is to discuss how your book, the book that you've read, can be broken down into the five parts that Carver talks about. The next bullet point is present the topics discussed in the letter and the transitions that hold the topics together. So the book is going to move from topic to topic. So talk about how the author presents the topics in the book and, that, and how those topics are held together and transition one from the next. For the third bullet point, indicate the methods Paul used to develop the ideas in the letter, such as figurative language, rhetorical devices, or other literary forms embedded in the letter. Paul's a very creative writer. He uses a lot of figures of speech, like metaphors and similes, a lot of rhetorical devices, like rhetorical questions. He quotes the Old Testament a lot. He uses a lot of anthropomorphisms and other poetic type language. So review the chapter on epistles in the Carver textbook. Um, you were assigned to read those for this week. But for this essay, go back and look at how Carver describes the different pieces of figurative language that Paul uses. Uh, Carver gives specific examples. And in your essay, I'm looking for specific examples as well, where you say, in these verses, Paul uses an anthropomorphism or a hyperbole or an illusion or whatever, and then explain how Paul uses that to make his point. Fourth, indicate the significant ethical instructions contained in the letter. Carver argues that Pauline letters can be broken up into five sections. Two of those are the body and the ethical instruction section. The body contains the main theological discussion that Paul wants to have in his letter, but then the ethical instruction section contains basically moral advice for Christians, how a Christian should live her or his life. So uh, for your essay in the fourth bullet point here, you should be indicating the significant ethical instructions that Paul gives his reader. And then finally, reflect on the impact of the letter. Uh, that it had on your beliefs or just your life or just you in general. How did you respond to this letter? So that's the final uh, the fourth and final interpretive essay focusing on the epistles specifically one of the Pauline letters uh, To close out this week, you're going to be doing your final quiz so the week four quiz focusing on of course the epistles. All right Well, if you have any questions shoot me an email. Thank you very much